It's okay, race fans. We're off to play golf this morning. November the 1st, nice and sunny, nice and warm. Humidity is very, very low. Uh, I think the high temperature today is supposed to be somewhere around 80, 78, 79, something like that. Gorgeous day. Another beautiful day in the villages, as they say. We're going to go play Palmetto Golf Course. I haven't played Palmetto in a long while. I darn sure haven't played uh, Palmetto since the hurricane. I played um, way up north. I played Oakley yesterday. And uh, what a gorgeous course that is. Um, I did see a little bit of hurricane damage, or should I say hurricane cleanup, while I was up there. A couple of trees apparently have blowed down, a couple of limbs here and there. But all in all, the course is in great shape, ready to go. So we'll see what Palmetto's like. I do know Palmetto had some uh, um, damage there. I know there was some trees down because I saw them. So we'll see. Uh, see what it looks like uh, when we get there. busy to start gets down here in the winter time summertime we kind of come and go and do what we want winter time it just uh, and we're not even in the height of the season yet 
they just snowbirds come down there earlier and earlier. This year they started coming back in October, and I understand they said they were coming back to check on hurricane damage, uh, see what happened at their house. So anyway, there we are. Okay, here's Palmetto. People are waiting for their tea times. I'm here early on purpose. And back. 9.53, please come to the White Stakes, 9.53. I'm 10.29, he just called up 9.53. I'm going back here. This is the uh, tennis pickleball court for this area. Let's walk through here. Hear that noise? That's the pickleball noise. And in the winter time, See how, see how popular pickleball is? In the winter time, this thing is really gets to going. That noise starts early in the morning, all the way up until like, I don't know, until dark. As you can see, they're still piling in to do this. So, and this is up a Palmetto, and this will be, uh, I think, the village of Pinellas up here. And if you see that golf cart over there, one of the workers, you see a pile of brush and trees he's hauling away. It looks like a big limb. That's probably some more of the hurricane damage. So, they're still cleaning up. But things are looking pretty good. I mean, it makes this, this area here nice. Um, one, the rec center and everything here is great, but they're all they're all great. Is that uh, if I was to continue to go down that road right there, it comes to a T right there. Turn left. See them cars over there going that way, and go down that road there. You're not going to go down very far. I'll say maybe quarter of a mile. And a uh, big shopping center on the left with um, Winn-Dixie grocery stores and restaurants and things. And also on the other side of the road, which is where I used to go, is the uh, village's uh, regional medical center. That's where my doctor is, my primary care doctor. And um, now they opened up another one at Brownwood. And he informed me on my last visit that uh, the one in Brownwood is where I'll be going on my next visit, which is fine with me. So they have um, they have the village's uh, uh, medical centers sprawled out. For me, it works. For my wife, it does not, because she has special needs um, for her medical care that the uh, Advantage Care program uh, costs too much. You fall in that donut hole, and then it costs us forty-five hundred dollars. And so she's on uh, what they call Florida Blue for her. Um, uh, with her um, Medicare and um, so she's got a different doctor and I believe her doctor is off campus a little bit five a month and then we don't have to worry about it so that's something you have to think about when you come down here is your medical needs and things like that and here we are number two hole in Palmetto we just finished that up and uh, remember me telling you on the road if you turn left you go to shopping center Right there is the doctor's offices, and uh, right over there is a shopping center. See if I get a picture of it. The uh, shopping center. That's uh, Citizens First Bank. That green building there is a Japanese or Chinese restaurant. It goes on down. The square ones down there. Home, uh, Winn Dixie's down there. That's a bank over there, I think. That's a Marathon gas station over here. Uh, that building over there. I don't know if you can see it or not with the gold dome on it. It's right, let me see if I get my finger on it. It's right there. Am I pointing right? I don't, yeah, I think it's right there. That's the government center. That's where you get your license plates, driver's license, all that. And all that's golf cart accessible. You don't need a car. So, here we are in number three hole at Palmetto. Black tees today, which is a long tees. And there's the hole right down there which generally doesn't produce a problem except for that I, uh, I slice every now and then well a lot 
and depending on how bad it is, I'm gonna probably end up in that water, so I'm probably gonna use a water ball. I think it's Artie's gonna go first. Artie's got a good swing. saw that bounce I think you're in mud buddy good shot there's Owen right at the flag right bounce right up there good shot Alan yeah that's a good shot also, we're here by the village of Pinellas, which is right there behind us there. The shopping center, which I was showing you, is right over there. Across the street over here is prime property, and we got a new Lowe's coming in. That's Lowe's. Um, I don't know what that is. It's gonna be a shopping center of some sort or another. Aldi's is supposed to go in there somewhere. Also, there's supposed to be some apartment houses, I think. They're building senior uh, senior apartment houses. So they're also going to build some stuff back there. If you look way back there, you see them houses way back yonder? That fence? That's the Villages. Villages does not own this property. They tried to buy it once, and somehow, some, some way, uh, something must have happened because the Villages backed out. I don't know who owns this property here yet, but somebody does, I'm sure. So, still building away. 